Hi, I'm Ryan and welcome to my schizophrenia channel. Today I'm going to talk about some common schizophrenia symptoms. For the purpose of this video, there are two basic types of schizophrenia symptoms, positive and negative. They don't mean good and bad. Positive symptoms are symptoms added to the person like hallucinations and negative symptoms are symptoms taken away from the person like a loss of motivation. There are a few different positive symptoms like audible hallucinations which include everything from voices and whispers to the sound of a door opening and closing and visual hallucinations that interrupt your line of sight and may seem like special visions. For me, visual hallucinations are rarely an object placed in my line of sight like in augmented reality or like seeing a person standing in the room when that person is not really there. I have a video in which I explain visual hallucinations that I'll link to at the end of this video. Other hallucinations include tactile or touch, gustatory or taste, and olfactory hallucinations or smell. Hallucinations affect all five senses. Delusions are another positive symptom. People with schizophrenia typically attach meaning to everything in their reality, like the numbers on a license plate or why someone dialed their phone when it was just the wrong number. There are grandiose delusions like thinking you're Jesus Christ, paranoid delusions like thinking a mafia hitman is trying to assassinate you, delusions of reference, also called ideas of reference, in which you think everything is about you, and neurotic delusions like believing you have a rare disease. There are also a number of negative symptoms. These include cognitive symptoms like breakdowns in concentration and memory and disorganized speech often called word salad, a volition when a person can't initiate simple goals like cleaning up after themselves or going to work or school, alosia also called poverty of speech which is a lack of follow-up content and conversation, clang associations when a person talks in nonsensical rhymes, neologism in which a person makes up new words that only they know the meaning of, apathy which is a general lack of interest or concern, and affective flattening when a person has blunted emotion or speaks in a monotone voice. Some resources you might be interested in are The Eden Express, which is a book about the schizophrenia symptoms experienced by friends of the author Mark Vonnegut. Uh, Mark Vonnegut has bipolar disorder, but early on he was misdiagnosed as having schizophrenia. Uh, he's the son of the famous author Kurt Vonnegut. The Center Cannot Hold is a schizophrenia memoir written by a lawyer and person with schizophrenia, Ellen Sachs. And a lot of people swear by the book Surviving Schizophrenia by E. Fuller Torrey, who is a psychiatric researcher. So that's the end of today's video. Just remember there are two basic categories of schizophrenia symptoms, positive and negative. If you believe you might be developing schizophrenia, get yourself checked out by a therapist in a mental health clinic. I do not recommend getting uh, an evaluation from a psychiatrist until you've been formally diagnosed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.